Well, hello to everybody out there in this great big world. This is your brother Dana, and I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta, speaking this truth regardless. You know, I'm not even using words or conversations from the news or media to prove my point that black skin trumps the blue shirt. But what I'm going to use is the opposite. The silence from those family members who believe with all their being that blue lives matter. I haven't heard a word from you that these officers were judged too quickly before there was time to look into all the facts that these officers not only were fired, but were also charged way too quickly based on white officers in the past. I haven't heard them say, wait a minute, this isn't those officers. It's bad training or a lack of it. I haven't Heard you say a word. Did Brother Tyree comply? But in fact, I've heard officers across this nation stand up and say, lock them up. Which proves to me that black skin trumps the blue shirt. Because see, this white brother right here, he's the one that pulled Tyree out of the car and, according to what I've read, was the first one to taser him. But yet, his picture appeared later. He's on paid leave. He has not been charged with these five guys, even though one of these guys claims that he did nothing but watch, but was guilty because of association, but yet this guy pulled him out of the car. To you, my black brothers and sisters, it still remains true to this day that your black skin trumps everything, your value, your job, your title, your role in society. Your black skin trumps it all. Because the big picture here is this. These five young black men were used in the hands of the white supremacy system to not only now get rid of one young man to the grave, but to put at least five more in the modern day cotton field of the prison system. So I stand on the basis of truth that you, my black brothers and sisters, black skin, still trumps you even being a human in the eyes of this society. And that continues to break my heart. This is your brother Dana. And I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta, speaking this truth regardless.